Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I'm going to talk about searching and finding uh, different documents and items that you may be looking for in the point of sale. Where you can do that, how you can do that, uh, a few guidelines. But before we get into it, I'm going to have you click on the description down below in the link down there to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there so you can ask about any errors you're having or any questions you have about QuickBooks Point of Sale. And if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe. Now, here we are on the main screen of your QuickBooks Point of Sale. And when I speak about documents, I would be talking about like either receipts or purchase orders or receiving vouchers. Those are documents. And then when I talk about items, I'm mainly talking about like the item list. And then of course you've got customers. So there's a lot of different information in your point of sale among all of these different areas. <clears throat> but specifically for this video, I'm going to talk about how you can find uh, things that you've created in the past. So of course for receipts, you would hit sales history. For purchase orders, you have the PO list. For receiving vouchers, you have your receiving history. And then for items and services, you have the item list. So uh, real quick, one by one, I'm going to go through these. But before I do, I'm going to mention that you have a main search bar up here on the home screen. And this is maybe the most helpful search bar of them all because this one searches everything, everything you could think of. So if I'm looking for a customer, I could put it in there. If I'm looking for uh, a receipt, I could I could either put in the receipt number or the customer's name. Let's see, that's not a customer's name. I'm trying to think. Uh, I guess myself, maybe I'd be in there. Oh, you know what? I am a customer, yep. And these are receipts under my name. And then of course you could search for items such as products. Let's see, like a shirt. Uh, and if, if there's too many here, it's gonna display five, but you can jump to show all of them. Uh, there is this also actually, by the way, little side note, this searches the help file. So if there's anything you're wondering how to do, you could also search it up here instead of going on to the help menu. Ah, uh, board game, exploding kittens. Um, so pretty much anything you want to, like I think this is one of my vendors. Uh, Knives Unlimited, I believe is the vendor name. So these are actually uh, items under that vendor. So yeah, pretty much anything you can think of, you could put in the search bar up here and you could actually find it. Now I'm gonna jump through some of the actual history screens for historical documents. So in sales history here, you know, we have all of the past receipts. And if I know exactly what I'm looking for, like number 143, I could just type that in. Or if I'm looking for a particular customer, I could just put their name in. I could see all their past receipts. And, uh, you know, clicking on them, I can show details. I can look at what's going on there. Uh, heading back here, the item list. Everybody's always looking for certain items because maybe they're updating them or maybe they're looking at the stock or the trends or what have you. You know, you can search by most any field in here. I could look for department. I could search by um, description. Apparently I have several awesome things. You know, of course you can do item name, of course you can do um, alternate lookup or UPC or pretty much mainly any field that's been filled in. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's almost hard to, for me to name every field that you could search by because there's so many that you could just type in any part of any field and it'll bring up any product that that has that in there uh, of course we've got the po list this screen is a little bit different it's kind of a throwback 
to how the screens used to look in point of sale, but you can still definitely search by vendor or I, I'm not sure if you can search by product. We could, we could probably test that out right now. Let's see, beeswax candle. All right, let's see if we can search PO by product. We will find out. Nope, doesn't look like it. So mainly I think you're stuck with vendor here or PO number, of course, if you know the PO number. Uh, receiving history, of course, you can search probably also again by vendor. And in an upcoming video, I believe I'm going to talk about how to reverse different documents in the point of sale that might be helpful for somebody. So there you go. Um, this was just a brief overview of how you can search and where you can search and what you can search. And uh, I'm probably going to mainly have you stick to the search on the main home screen here. But of course, if you're already in the item list or you're already in one of the history pages, of course, you got the search bar at the top. So just wanted to point out this useful feature for you. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. Otherwise, my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. I hope you have a stupendous day.